Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today is the day we get the confirmation of this Lenny Yoro deal. He will be joining, at least it seems like he will be joining Manchester United soon. Um, all the latest coming in from David Ornstein. Um, and a few others as well. I mean, Mario Cotagana came in as well. So, some updates, big updates coming in. What does this mean for Real Madrid? I'll have a little bit of an opinion later on towards the end. And then we'll discuss of what Real Madrid should do. Because I do think that with Nacho leaving, you have to get another center back in. I think... Alaba, he's still not going to be fit until around September, October minimally. You've got Rudiger and Militao. Rudiger was immense last season. Militao has just come back from a long ACL. And the last month of the season, last season, he was making mistakes. He wasn't as great as we know he could be. So could we see Militao maybe lose a bit of momentum? Maybe that ACL might affect his game, who knows. But also, Nacho leaving, Rafa Marin so all this you add together, you need another centre-back. And that centre-back would have been Lenny Yoro. But what's the latest? This is from Mario Cotagana. Breaking. Real Madrid have been informed of Lenny Yoro's decision to join Manchester United. Lenny Yoro will join Manchester United for 50 million euros initial fee. Now, this bit over here um, is subject to change. So, there have been different reports on the fee. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, let's not take it, you know, um, too seriously. This is from Canal Plus. Just in, Lenny Yoro was the plan. He was seen as generational, but... Real Madrid have alternative options from Rodra um, of Relevo. Just in, Real Madrid have an alternative to Lenny Yoro from The Athletic. Lenny Yoro found that Real Madrid were not willing to come close to Manchester United's offer due to him being free next season and is now joining the English club from Colonel Plus again. Um, just in Real Madrid will go into the center back, go into the market for a center back from on the shadow, and also just in Real Madrid saw Rafa Marin thinking Lenny Yoro was safe. Now they were going to the market for a different center back. Now look, hear me out. Rafa Marin was never going to be the guy. Uh, this is coming in from Alberto Pereiro. He was never going to be the guy. Um, I don't think that he was ever going to be the fourth choice on the back. So, he is gone. Great. He was never really going to be good enough anyway. So, you have to move on. And lastly, um, just a bit of an interesting thought here. Real Madrid center back for next season as things stand. Rudiger, Milito, Vallejo, and Alaba who is currently injured. So, what does this mean? It means that Real Madrid need a centre back, basically a new alternative option that hasn't been released yet, hasn't been put out who we will be, but that we know has to be the priority. In fact, let's see if they've you know maybe put something in. Uh, a few bits. Lenny Euro got tired of waiting for Marca. Also, Lenny Yoro wanted Real Madrid who told him they will make it happen as soon as they can. This got delayed. He began having doubts whether it could happen this summer from Canal Plus. Um, so yeah, just a, a, a bit of interesting news. Not so sure who the alternative will be yet. I'm sure Real Madrid will figure something out. I think that although Lenny Yoro is a good player, he's one for the future. He's quote generational. He isn't a player that Real Madrid will be going out spending 50 million euros on. It's just not happening. And I do think that Manchester United will sort of do a deal where it's paid across a few years. So it's not going to be at one go. I still think that 
50 million euros for an 18, soon to be 19 year old, it's not going to be a risk Real Madrid take. And this hasn't been the case. You know, I know you can talk about the likes of Vinicius Junior, even Rodrigo, selling them for decent money. But I just feel like Lenny Euro hasn't been, you know, hasn't shown a lot at Lille. And I still think that in five years' time, even less, Lenny Euro can still come to Real Madrid. I mean, he's going to be 19. He could join Real Madrid when he's about 23, 24. So, that still could happen. And I don't believe that Lenny Euro is worth the price. And I wanted Lenny Euro, but this is a game that you play, right? And if you have players who are willing to run down your contract or, you know, wait, then fair enough. If they're not, then fair enough too, because he doesn't want to wait. He wants to leave Leo. He wants to join a new club. He wants to make it as fast as possible. And Manchester United are the only team to go to him and propose a contract to give him an offer. And fair enough. You know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. But is it the end of the day? No, it's not. Because there are other options there in the market that Real Madrid can go for. And I'm sure... They don't have just Lenny Euro as the only option. I don't think that is the case. I think that there always is a plan B. I think there always is the case, the preparedness, just in case Lenny Euro doesn't join or he does go to another club, what is going to be your solution? And I don't think it was going to be Rafa Marin or is it going to be Vallejo? I think that there is an option. And we know that Real Madrid are a club that, you know, attract to players. And I think Lenny Euro wanted Real Madrid. His priority has always been Real Madrid. But it comes to a point to him that maybe it's just time to move on from that case. And fair enough. Fair enough. I know that it is Real Madrid. But then again, he's not going to come in and play. Whereas if he does go to Manchester United, he will be a starter. So good luck to him. Fair play. We have to move on and Real Madrid will go out there and get another alternative. Before we wrap up, just a bit about Kylian Mbappe. This was one of the many pictures shown yesterday of his presentation. 85,000 fans, fully sold out stadium, incredible. Mbappe with the 1, 2, 3, a la Madrid, you know, Ronaldo-esque. Brilliant, loving it. But here it is, confirmed, Kylian Mbappe will not travel to USA for the pre-season games. Expected, they're happening in about two weeks. He will go get his break. He'll come back after the pre-season and he will be ready for the Super Cup final against Atalanta. And lastly, Re- uh, Kylian Mbappe will start training on August the 7th. Which, if I'm not wrong, it might be a day or two before the Super Cup final. If I am not wrong, um, let me check before we end off. It is the day after we play Chelsea. No, it's actually it's actually a week before we play Atlanta. So he will be back for then. He will not be back for any of the three games against AC Milan, Barcelona, or Chelsea. So there's that. But let me know what thoughts are down below. Lenny Euro joining Manchester United and obviously Mbappe coming in before the Super Cup final. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.